Alrighty everybody, so in this video I'm going to share with you guys exactly how to get Web 2.0 backlinks from Blogger and why I think that it's pretty effective. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with what Blogger is, it's basically um, just Google's WordPress, if you will, in a nutshell. You know, it's not as compact and not as cool as WordPress, but it, it you can publish blogs, right? So, the first thing you want to do, let's say you own a local business, uh, or you're working on a client or something like that, you know, the first thing you want to do is set up a Google Blogger account, and then you want to get content from your site, and you're going to basically link back to it. Now, here's the, here's the interesting thing. Well, you can use exact phrase anchor text now if you have no idea what i just said there because you know you're a plumber you're uh, a lawyer or someone you know and you're just looking into seo and, and heard some of the crosses video basically this is an anchor text right here it's the text that's the link basically and that's how it's displayed so let's say you wanted to rank for um plumbers in los angeles you would not want that text on the blog or on the web 2.0 in most cases to say plumbers los angeles that's how google will penalize your web 2.0 and possibly penalize your site you don't want that because that's going to be chopped for you however if you're using google blogger i am pretty confident that you can use exact match phrases within reason don't go crazy, okay? Don't don't say best plumbers is Los Angeles, plumbing Los Angeles, plumber in Los Angeles, and have it all in the same blog. Don't do that. That Google is going to, they're not stupid, right? They're going to kick you out for that. They're going to beat you up for that. However, here's my reasoning. I don't think Google is going to penalize its own properties. So if it sees that you have an exact phrase from Google Blogger, you know, it's it's a Google property. It's it's its own property. It, it owns Blogger. There's no reason for Google to penalize itself, its own links, you know, as long as it's within reason. So as long as it doesn't look like you're spamming it everywhere, it's fine, right? We're not looking... These are high-quality Web 2.0s. Blogger, Tumblr, Weebly, you know, there are, those are good Web 2.0s to have. What's not good and what you shouldn't be using too often are the ones from China, are the ones from Russia, the ones from Pakistan, from, the, you don't, unless you live in those areas and it's relevant to your topic, you know, if you're a plumber, it doesn't make sense to have Web 2.0s going to your homepage that are coming from Kazakhstan, right? It, it, Google's not an idiot. However, here's the however. If you're powering a blog, you can use just about any Web 2.0. If you're powering the silo, so let's say this is your target keyword, or let's let's use this example. So Plumbers Los Angeles, right? Um, let's say instead, what you do is you have an article written about what is plumbing. Okay, then you power this with the Web 2.0s from China, Kazakhstan. Again, you don't don't buy a hundred thousand backlinks in a day. You know, you can buy a couple thousand of them. They'll probably be de-indexed anyway, and it the, the, won't really matter. Uh, you won't really get that much benefit, but you might, you know, just power it to this page, okay? Uh, and then this page powers the home page. Make sense? So, the thing is, when you use Blogger, you can, I think, within reason, give yourself exact match backlinks. So, let's say full service plumbing company. Seattle plumbing company Seattle we could probably have this as a web 2.0 back excuse me to the home page and we'd be okay will it help rank this page oh my god no because first of all the phrase plumbing and plumbers and stuff like that in Seattle is already super competitive it's going to be really difficult so instead what we want to do is focus on the other pages I'll keep this here anyway because if Google does crawl this page then it's going to help in some regard but sewer repair right sewer repair seattle is not going to be the hardest thing to rank for right we can do it within reason in fact 
I don't think my client is ranking in the Google Maps yet. Nope, so we're gonna have to work on that. But um, the point is, you can use the Web 2.0s, you'll probably see a difference if it's for very low competitive, low keyword difficulty uh, phrases. So what we're going to do is power this blog that talks about trenchless sewer repair. And we're going to power that with a Web 2.0. So what I did was I just copied all of this content, I pasted it into the blogger, I deleted a few things, and I reworded a couple things. You'll see average cost, we'll do, average cost of trenchless sewer pipe repair versus traditional pipe repairs. Um, this is the average cost of trenchless sewer pipe services versus traditional, right? So you can see we're, we're playing around with it a little bit. Um, what is a trenchless sewer pipe? A trenchless sewer pipe dot 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 is a good alternative for your existing pipe right there we go you can see we're, we're we're just rewarding a few things we're deleting a couple things here and then we're making this a very short blog the only thing we want to do is really just power this blog with this backlink and then at the end we'll do contact the pipe doctor uh, we'll have you know full service plumbing company Seattle keyword we'll have the address the phone number and the email if we want you can have something like uh, HTTPS we'll put visit HTTPS forward slash the pipe doctor dot com uh, and the only reason why this is okay is because we're not using any phrases it's just it's literally just the URL so Google's gonna be like alright whatever you know there's only one company that has the pipe dot com in this case it's dir uh, but you'll see like right this is it this is a perfect blogger backlink that we get and it's going to help power this page and then what you can do now is you go to search console you can set up if you really want to if you're feeling ambitious you can set up the um, the blogger to be getting you um, to index it I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna index this page only so request indexing. So I believe if we go on Google and if we type this in, we're going to get nothing. So this is why we're requesting the index. And of course, it's going to take forever, right? But you get the idea. Um, we want to power these blog posts with web 2.0s and that's it uh, it's not rocket science this is a task that I am now delegating to my VAs because I think that this is a really great way to get um, an extra boost in the rankings and it's something that it's pretty easy to do it's a pretty important job too I just don't have the time to do this um, as you can see I did it now and I've, I've done it before and I can do it again but if we want to really pump up production, it would be best for someone else who's more familiar with uh, data entry and kind of just going back more organization. I'm very unorganized. I would forget this in a day. So that is kind of my little spiel, if you will. So if you guys have any questions, you know, you can always comment below or, you know, DM me, email info at jcsurge.com. Um, go on my website. Ask some questions, whatever you got to do to get a hold of me, feel free to do so, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.